All right, hello everybody. So for today's workout, um, it's about trying to find a quiet place for you to be able to do your workout. Like today, I am home with my daughter and um, I have some company over as well and I couldn't record anything upstairs. I couldn't really even focus really too much to work out upstairs, which happens when you're at home. Uh, you have to be able to find a place where you can go um, and kind of block everything out for a little bit. Um, you have to be able to block it out and focus on yourself a little bit. Uh, sometimes it's hard to do that, especially while you're home. That's why it's very distracting to work out while you're at your home. But uh, there's ways you can do it. Um, I'm, for instance, I came down to the basement. And what better place to do a workout than my dad's uh, old man cave. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the first person to work out in my dad's man cave. Um, but it's quiet down here. Um, I was able to focus, I was able to write down a routine that I wanted to go through. And um, it, are you gonna need for this workout? If you have one, now, a lot of us have been talking to me about uh, what can you do with just a kettlebell. Some people have just one single kettlebell. So I'm gonna show you a workout you could do. It's a six exercises that we're gonna do um, a minute of each exercise of. You could repeat the exercises to get more of a workout, get like three sets of each one in. Actually, it'd be better if you can even split it up. You can do the first three exercises, a minute a piece, three times through. And then the last three exercises, a minute a piece, three times through. And um, that'll give you a pretty good workout where you can do it as one big giant set as the six exercises, six minutes of work in a row. I would suggest anywhere from 30 seconds to a full minute rest in between each exercise. So you let your body rest a little bit. Um, they're kind of like full body exercises um, other than like the first uh, first one, just warms up our legs. Uh, but there's a lot of things you can do with just the kettlebell. I'm just gonna show you six motions. It mixes a lot of legs, shoulders, back, abs, all kind of come into play. But one thing with a kettlebell is, typical, uh, your arm and your shoulder definitely gets tired more so than uh, everything else because it's always some type of swing in motion or using a motion with the kettlebell and you're rotating your shoulder with it. So shoulders come into play a lot with it. So um, that's a lot of the exercises that consist of with kettlebells. So like I said, try to find a quiet place to be able to work out. Um, just give yourself 20 to 30 minutes that you could disappear and get a workout in. Um, and you, you just time each exercise. You can do exercises for repetitions if you wanted to, uh, but today we're gonna time it and we're gonna be using our kettlebell. So I'm gonna show you the motion. Uh, at first, I'll show you each exercise um, that we're gonna be doing for the minute, and then I'll take about 30 seconds to show you what the next exercise is going to be, and then we'll go through that exercise. All right, so we're gonna hit the first three exercises. The first one is just gonna be a kettlebell squat, okay? So it's just your kettlebell squat with the kettlebell. Um, you have a timer, works good to have a timer. If you have an Alexa, you can set an Alexa to set a minute timer for yourself. Um, a watch works great, of course. Uh, anything, your cell phone, sitting off to the side, whatever you can do. Um, so first, like I said, we're just gonna warm up our legs. We're gonna do a kettlebell squat. Now, when you do a kettlebell squat, picture is a line at your heels, okay? So there's a line from my right heel to my left heel, okay, right in between my legs. My toes face forward, you can duck them out a little bit, but they're about shoulder width apart, okay? Now, your kettlebell always wants to go back to that line, okay? And you wanna keep your chest up tall and head up and core engaged. You never wanna be looking down in between your legs. Wherever your eyesight goes when you're doing a leg exercise, especially a squat, your spine moves in that direction. So if I'm looking down, my spine is gonna naturally start to round forward. If I'm looking up, my spine's gonna be aligned and round open, okay? Your core has to stay nice and tight the whole time. So we're gonna do a minute of a squat. A kettlebell squat is gonna look like so. You're gonna bend both knees. You're gonna reach for the kettlebell in between your legs, reach, grab it, head up tall, chest up tall, drive through the heels, squeeze the glutes, okay? I'm not locking my knees out. I'm keeping my knees slightly bent, but I'm pushing my hips forward and squeezing my glutes. Then I'm gonna sit back down towards the floor. Then I'm just gonna stand back up, okay? So it's a sit and a stand. So all we're gonna do, just a kettlebell squat for a minute. Okay, ready for it? Sit, and here we go. Breathe in on the way down, blow out on the way up, squeeze. Yep, we're just gonna go for a nice solid minute here with the kettlebell. Keep the chest up, keep the head up. That'll help keep your spine aligned. Keep the kettlebell going back towards your heels. 
Resting your knees behind your toes. Abs are engaged. I'm driving through my heels, squeezing my glutes. Standing up tall each time. Don't lock out the knees at the top. Always keep a slight bend. You don't want to land bone on top of bone. You always want to keep a slight bend in the knees so you don't hyperextend those knees. Okay? Breathe in, blow out. Breathe in, blow out. Keep the core tight. Almost there. We got our 15 seconds. Drive to the heels, squeeze. So you start to feel a little bit of a burn in your legs. Almost there. Breathe in, blow out. Breathe in, blow out. Breathe in, blow out. Three, two, one, time. Nice. Okay, we're done with that. We're going to move on to exercise number two. So exercise number two, we're going to rest for about 30 seconds. We're going to do a kettlebell squat thrust with a push-up. Okay? So what I mean by that, it's going to be like a kettlebell squat that you just did. You're going to use one arm. Okay? I like to turn my kettlebell like that. Okay, you want to make sure you have enough distance behind you because what you're going to do, you're going to pick up your kettlebell with one arm here, you're going to come down, rest it down on the ground, rest the other hand down on the ground, kick back and get a push up. Now I'm going to pop back up and pick up my kettlebell again. Okay, so down, out, push up, back up, pick it up. We're going to do it 30 seconds per side. Okay, ready, sit, and go. Kick it out. Push up, pop it up, pick it up. Down, plant the hand, kick out, elbow tight, push up, pop it up, pick it up. Down, kick it out, push up, pop it up, pick it up, that's it. Down, keep the core tight. Now if you can't get the push up on the knees, of course you can do a push up on your, I mean if you can't get the push up on the toes, of course you can do a push up on your knees. Also, three, two, one, switch sides, pick it up. If you can't do the push-up with your hand on top of this kettlebell, bring your hand down to the ground. Get your push-up here, pop yourself back up, grab the kettlebell, pick it up, okay? If you're afraid to keep that hand on top of that kettlebell. Here, pop it up, pick it up, down, out, push, up, pick it up, down. Now, before you pick up your kettlebell, make sure your chest is up, drive and pick it up. Down, out, up, core tight. Three, two, one, time. Perfect. All right, so next we're gonna do a sit up press up. Now, if you have something you can lay on, like a pad, a carpet, any of the such, any of the such will work for you. I'm just gonna lay down on the ground and, well, see how it feels. <laughs> So, you're going to take your kettlebell. This is going to be an ab exercise and a shoulder exercise at the same time. Okay? So, you're going to be here. Both knees are bent. Core is tight and engaged. Keep your heels down. You can use your left arm to help you. You're going to do a sit-up with this kettlebell. Okay? So, from here, get your sit-up. Once you're up, get your shoulder press. Then you're going to lay back down. Okay? So, it's a sit-up, shoulder press. Lay back down. We're going to go 30 seconds per side. Okay? Ready? Set. Lock it up. Arm stays locked. And go. Sit it up. Shoulder press. Lay back down. Sit it up. Shoulder press. Lay back down. Keep that core tight. Keep the arm locked. Use the kettlebell to help you get up. Almost spring it forward a little bit. Drive, roll your spine back down, roll it up, drive, roll the spine back down. Always focus on that roll of your spine as you come up or down. You don't want to land your upper back first. Switch out sides, same thing, other side. Here we go, press it, roll back down, roll it up, press it, roll back down, roll up, press. Roll it down, roll up, press, roll it down. Keep that spine hitting the floor from lower, middle, upper, upper, middle, lower, off. Press, lock out that arm the whole time. Almost there, three, two, one, time. Perfect, 
All right, so what would I, I would have you do is go through those three exercises two more times. So two more times a piece of each one of those exercises. All right, so hit the first one. We had our kettlebell squat, regular plain Jane kettlebell squat for a minute. Okay, so do that for another solid minute now. Go back to the second exercise. The second exercise was that kettlebell squat with the push-up. So it's a squat thrust with the push-up. Now remember, when you're doing that one, you don't have to keep the hand on that kettlebell, like I said. You can bring the hand down to the ground. After you get that kettlebell squat and you pick this up, you can set it down a little bit by your toe, put your hand to the side of it here and kick back, get your push-up. Then come back up, center yourself above the kettlebell, pick it up, okay? You don't have to keep that hand on top of your kettlebell. It is sometimes hard and scare, scare for people because you don't want it to roll over when you go down. The kettlebell rolls and you land on your knuckles and won't feel like that. So make sure your weight is dispersed directly above that kettlebell, the other hand is planted, get your kick back, get your push up, pop back up, reset yourself, okay? Then after that, for your third exercise, we had our sit-up press-up. You wanna really emphasize rolling your spine on that one. When I came up, I made sure my upper back came off first, then my middle back. You wanna roll your spine up, so you're engaging your abs to roll, okay? You don't wanna sit up with your back flexed out, you hurt your lower back, okay? And when you roll back down, it's as important to get your roll down as it is the roll up. So roll every segment of your spine back down the floor. Last thing you should come down is your shoulders and head. Then you sit back up, always rolling that spine, engaging the core the whole time. So go through those three exercises two more times, okay? Then, once you know what that, come on back, and we're gonna move on to section two. Section two is gonna be three more exercises. Again, kind of full body, but we're gonna have a little more fun with it, okay? So in section two, your first exercise, is going to be a forward lunge pass under with an upright row. So you're gonna use your kettlebell, of course. Now from here, I'm gonna do a forward lunge, okay? So a forward lunge, you're gonna step forward, bend both knees to a 90 degree angle, keeping your chest up tall. So I'm here, okay? I'm gonna pass this kettlebell under my front leg and do an upright row. I'm gonna stand back off, okay? So now it's on my opposite arm. So now my right leg is gonna go forward forward, bend both knees, pass under, upright row, stack back up, okay? Always passing through the center of the legs. So it's not ever the kettlebell in my right arm, right leg going forward, okay? Opposite leg goes forward so you can pass through the center line, get your upright row, keeping your chest up as tall as you can, then push back off, and then repeat on the other side. So a full minute just alternating side to side. Okay, upright row, elbow leads away, core stays tight. You don't wanna open up and twist up with it. Just straight up upright row as high as you can get the elbow. Make the elbow come up higher than the hand. Pull the hand towards your collarbone, okay? Here, back down. All right, minute, ready. Right arm has the kettlebell. Left foot is going forward. Set and go. Forward lunge, both knees bend, pass it under. Upright row, push it off, right leg. Both knees bend, pass and under. Upright row, push it off. Both knees bend, under, upright, push. That's it, forward lunge, upright, push. Forward lunge, upright, push. I'm gonna show you from the side, forward lunge. Both knees bend, upright, push off. Knees bend to 90 degree angles. I'm not touching down my back knee. My back knee is staying off the ground. Okay, core is tight. Drive, push, forward. Drive, push, forward. 15 seconds. Drive, push. The pass under is about engaging those abs, keeping the core tight, not letting it knock you over as you pass that kettlebell under. It throws you off balance. Three, two, one, time. But that's the whole point of it. It's meant to throw you off balance, engage your abs. So, pass them under, upright row, push it off. Exercise number two, 
of the second group, okay? Exercise number two, we're gonna have a circle clean to a squat. Now, this one gets a little complex. It's like a kettlebell swing, a sing-along kettlebell swing. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna go around one of your legs, come up and catch it on the opposite shoulder. Then we're gonna get a squat. Then we're gonna come down around your other leg, catch it up top, get a squat, okay? You'll see when you circle it, I'm gonna always go through the center of my legs. I'm gonna pass it to my hand in the back. So if my right arm is throwing it through the center, pass it to my left hand, bring it around my left leg and pull it to my right shoulder. So it's gonna look like so. You're gonna swing it through, through, pass, pull, okay? Now, right here, I'm just holding up my right hand. My left hand is on the handle, so when I go down and get the other side, I'm gonna pass around my right leg. Through, pass, catch. Through, pass, catch. Around the right leg, pass, catch. Around the left leg, pass, catch. Left hand puts it around the right leg. Right hand pulls it around. Right hand puts it around the left leg. Left hand pulls it through, okay? So you're just passing it from hand to hand and landing it in the center. And we're gonna add a squat, okay? So, have fun with this one. Take it slow. If you can't get that swing around the leg, I'll show you an alternative at the end, okay? Here we go, ready? Right arm first, passing it around your left leg. Set, and go. Through, pass, pull, get your squat. Through, pass, pull, get your squat. Through, pass, pull, squat. Through, pass, pull, squat. That's it, through, pass, pull, squat. Through, pass, pull, squat. When you get that pass, the other hand is right there, ready to catch that kettlebell. I almost touch my fingers right together to get that, okay? Through, pull, because if you don't, you're gonna drop the kettlebell, okay? You don't really wanna drop the kettlebell, unless you're on a floor that you don't really care about, or you're outside. My knees stay behind my toes for the squat. It's like a front-weighted squat. Almost there. Pass through, pull, squat. Pass through, pull, squat. Through, three, two, one, time. Okay, Ooh, that one got my heart rate up. So, if you're trying that, it's just not working. That you can't get the motor the, around the leg. Go to single arm swing and still pull it up to the top. So, go here. Single arm swing, pull to the top. Get your squat. And stay in that same side for 30 seconds. Swing, pull, squat. Swing, pull, squat. My swing, I hinge at the hips, drive my hips to get it back up. Squat. Another alternative, if you can't get that swing, kettlebell stays on the ground. Pick it up. So from here, drive it to land here. Get the squat. Go back down. Drive it. Land here. Squat. Go back down. Drive. Land. Squat. Back down. Okay, you can have fun with this motion. There's three different ways right there. First way is the most fun. If you get that circle motion, practice it, chest up tall, around, pass, pull, catch. That's exercise number two, section two, okay? Now, we're just gonna do around the heads. Well, head circles, around the heads, a couple different things you can call them. All you're doing, taking your kettlebell and circling it around your head in a very tight motion. So, I'm holding my kettlebell here by the handles. You'll see in a second. I'm gonna go around my head with the kettlebell and bring it back to center. Then, other way, around my head, back to center, okay? So I'm just gonna keep going one side, other side. The key is to keep the kettlebell as close to your head as you can, as you go around it both ways, okay? You don't wanna let it get too far away. It's about abs here, 
abs and shoulders. Core tight, staying up tall, abs engaged, okay? Bring it tight to the head. Let the elbow, you'll see my, my right elbow, when I come around, is gonna go high, so the kettlebell's gonna flip upside down. Then I'm gonna bring it around and bring it back to center. Then it's gonna flip upside down, around, back, center. So this is what it's gonna look like. Hold the kettlebell here. Bring it around your head. Kettlebell goes upside down, back, center, around. Back center, around, back center. And that's about that movement that happens here in the upper torso. That's what you're looking to do. You're looking to get that rotation movement and use all of your obliques, your upper abs, core, lower back is tight. Everything tightens up with this, okay? Going for the minute. Ready, set, and here we go. Circle around, keep it tight to the head. There, bring it back, tight to the head. There, good. Try to prevent any movement of the feet, the hips. Use the core, bring it around. Center, bring it around. Center, around. Center, remember when you go back behind your head, the kettlebell's upside down. Then it's back to being centered. Upside down, center. Upside down, center. Okay, around the head. Now if you have long hair, Ponytails don't usually work with this motion. <laughs> Ponytails get in the way. So let your hair down for this one, okay? Round circle, round circle. That's it, almost there. Keep that core tight. Center, round, center, round, center. Keep it close to your head, close to the face when it comes back around. Try not to clock yourself in the head. <laughs> You got it. Almost there. Whoop. Three, two, one. And time. Now, with that one, like I said, you want to keep it close to your head. Try not to hit your head. Upside down behind your head. Center it back up, down. I'm holding the sides of the kettlebell handle here and here. Okay? That's where the motion comes from. All right, so those are the last three. That's section two. So the first section, like I said, you had your squat, regular plain Jane kettlebell squat. Keep your knees behind your toes, keep the core tight, eyes looking up so your spine is up, okay? Abs engaged. Now, second exercise of the first group of exercises was the kettlebell squat thrust with the push-up. So the kickback, hand on top of the kettlebell, hand on the floor, get your push-up, pop back up, okay? Kettlebell squat thrust push-ups. Okay, got that for a minute. Third exercise is your sit-up press-up. Lying down flat on your back, arm stays locked out. Always keep that arm locked. Sit it up, locked out overhead, get your press, roll back down. Now, that one is the hardest one in the bunch when it comes to the weight of your kettlebell, okay? If you don't have uh, a lighter kettlebell, use a soup can, use something. It's just about that little bit of weight that you're looking to come up with. Get a press to the top, roll back down. You can use a dumbbell. If you have a dumbbell, that's fine too. All right, that was your first three. Do each one of those a minute apiece for three rounds. Second group, you had your forward lunge with the pass under and the upright row. Remember, if it's in your right arm, you're going to forward lunge with the left leg. Pass it under, get your upright row. Bring it all back. Forward lunge with the right leg. Pass it under, pull it up, bring it all back. Okay. Knees stay bent to 90 degree angles with that. Don't ever let your front knee go past your toe. Sit down with the back leg without letting your knee touch the ground though, okay? All right, second uh, exercise of the second group was your circle clean to your uh, squat. So around the leg, bring it up, squat. Around the other leg, bring it up, squat. Remember, keep your chest tall with that one. Try to mess around with that one, see if you can get it. You might drop the kettlebell a couple times, just a forewarning. you. Don't be on your nice wooden floor, okay? Get used to that exercise. I showed you two other varieties that you could do. Do that for a minute. And lastly, you had your uh, standing head circles. Now that one, just remember, keep it close to the head, circle around one way, circle back the other way. Repeat the last three exercises of the second group three times, okay? So a minute each exercise, three rounds. So that'll be three, six, six minutes of work total. And when you calculate it all, it's 18 minutes of work that you can get done and it can go by pretty quick. Okay, 18 minutes done, exercise is over. Take about 30 seconds of rest in between each exercise. Whole workout should be done in under 30 minutes, okay? 
warm up prior, you can do some mountain climbers, some high knees, some butt kicks, some stretches at the end to get yourself a little more mobile. Next um, video that I'm gonna do is gonna be a recovery and stretching video. So we're gonna, I, you can do each one of those exercises. I'll show you my next one um, after each routine to keep your muscles mobile. Um, but that's it, all right? Thank you everybody. Thank you to CDPHP for helping everybody out during this time in need. Um, thank you to every company that's been helping out for that matter. Uh, it's been a tough time for all small businesses and people individually, even big, even big businesses. Um, there, this has been a hard time that we're all getting through um, and we're working together great with, the, with this right now. The online workout programs have been amazing. People are all over the internet. It's been great. Um, Four Pillar Fitness will be back open soon. Once it is, you'll be seeing the updates on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. I'll blast it out all over once we reopen. Can't wait to see everybody there. Till then, let's keep this going.